Hi there Virgo, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive tarot reading for August 10th through to the 16th. Virgo, let's see what's on the cards for you, starting with the Work Your Light Oracle to see what overarching themes or messages want to come through. That one's flipping, I'll take it all. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yeah, well I kind of feel that that is what's happening at the moment in our world. You know, we really are birthing a new age, but first of all, there's a big shakeup of all the dense energies at the moment. I feel like it's a little bit of the magician energy as well. So let's go to the Yogic Path deck now, Virgo, and see what wants to come out. Samadhi. We'll look at the similarities in these cards. I mean, <laughs> it's very much about that kind of, you know, frequency upgrade here of really sort of, you know, connecting with your higher self, doing your meditations, being positive. If we all do our bit like that, you know, we really will birth a new age. Beautiful. So Samadhi can mean, you know, maybe a little bit more spiritual practice this week, being mindful of that. If you don't have a spiritual practice, that's absolutely fine. But you could, you know, find a meditation on YouTube for free and do that. Uh, you know, there's lots of ways to, to do it. Okay, Virgo, let's get the tarot story out. Starting first with the card for the recent past. Energies leaving, completing, or transitioning in your life. And what you may be journeying. Queen of Pentacles. Just had this for Libra as well. Yeah, interesting. Um, we'll get the clarifiers for that because she can mean many different things. But it may be time to refocus your energies. Let's get the current or focus energy out. Here we go. We have got the Seven of Wands. Okay, maybe needing to have a little bit of extra resilience or persistence this week. Let's get the outcome near future energy. I think I'll take this one. The worker card, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it may be time to refocus your energy in a different direction. Let's get the clarifiers out and then see if we need anything else. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Virgo. I mean, she could represent you as well. She's generally a card of Capricorn. But she could also be Virgo or Taurus. I'm going to take these ones. Queen of Cups. Wow, okay, so you've got two queens here and a ten of pentacles. Interesting. Double queen energy. And we have got the universe, which is the world card. Big card of completion. I mean, those two queens, they could be two different people. Oh, they can just be the energies. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles for you. The Emperor. Oh, so we've got some big energies here. Yeah, I mean, definitely getting ready to shift in a strong new direction of your choice. Okay, Virgo, I do have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the Rider deck as well. So definitely a sense of finding fulfillment here as well. Okay, so in your recent past or outcome energy, now we've got two Queens and Ten of Pentacles. So interesting energy. I mean, these could be two people in your life, potentially two female characters. If so, you know, one of them could definitely represent your energy with the Queen of Pentacles. And the other one here is a water sign potentially Scorpio Cancer or Pisces or somebody who really kind of is very nurturing and compassionate and that kind of thing so you know as energies here with the two Queens the thing is Virgo I think we do have completion in this energy we've got the world energy in the middle which is one of the biggest cards of cyclic completion in the tarot and we've got the ten of pentacles here now ten of pentacles can be the kind of living your best life card but it is a ten as well so it can be a completion so for some of you it can be you know um, completion of a time maybe living with family maybe living with a queen of cups could be a uh, 
you know, a mother-in-law um, or an older sister or something like that or, or a mother. And there is a sense here of, you know, change in that department. So it could definitely be that. For others of you, you know, it can be retirement. It can be an investment coming to maturity as well. Um, generally, it's about, you know, your resources, your money, your home, your sense of stability. Or um, as well, it can be, you know, the home front also. Did I say that? I think I may have. So, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm not feeling 100% today. So the Queen of Pentacles is a reminder that, you know, it's time to maybe refocus your energy in a different direction. And at the end of the reading, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, which is really shows you, you know, head down, carving out a new direction. So some of you may need to, in some way, go your own way after completion. This could be you moving out and getting your own home or something like that. Um, the thing about the Queen of Pentacles is that she can link to the devil, you know, she is generally the card of Capricorn. So there could have been a time that you've been moving through, like releasing things that don't serve you. That could be a home situation with the Queen of Cups, that is definitely possible. And now you are moving in your own direction, refocusing your energy and, you know, it's really time you're thinking to, to reground yourself and, you know, get on with life as you know it. I feel like there's a sense of separating yourself here, maybe from a family home or maybe the home of your partner or something like that. That's what I'm feeling. It's time for you to be, you know, the nurturer now, maybe after being nurtured in a situation. And I'm not saying that necessarily went bad, but maybe it was just time for you to move out and go your separate way. Maybe you and your partner were living with one of the mothers or mother-in-law. That's a possibility here. So just saying what comes up in the reading. I know that won't be for everyone, um, Virgo, but that is definitely a possibility. And you look, I mean, you're feeling maybe a little bit challenged about that this week with the Seven of Wands and the Universe. But it says that that is soon going to be over. I mean, the Universe is the biggest card of cyclic completion in the Tarot. It's a card of victory and it says that you've arrived. You know, whatever karmic lessons or, or contracts you needed to learn from this it's complete and it's time for you to move into a new chapter now a whole new chapter with the universe energy it's the last card in the tarot so it says it's the end of the road with this current situation because potentially maybe it started becoming challenging for you there could be a sense of outstaying the welcome in a situation with the seven of wands it's kind of at the the point where everyone starts getting on each other's nerves i mean maybe you moved in with family because of the global situation and it says you know what hey maybe it's best for everyone if if you know it's time up on that if you are able to move because there is a sense here of kind of maybe getting on each other's nerves with the seven of wands um feeling challenged being a little bit in competition with each other but you've got the higher ground here and i'm not saying that you know you're going to win the arguments or anything like that it's just i think feel like you've got the the you know the power to make a good decision for yourself this week and it involves ending a cyclic completion i mean Maybe this kind of living situation has always been kind of the place of refuge for you, but this is the this is the last time you've kind of thought, okay, well maybe it doesn't work long term, and maybe you're out able to to go and get a secure home for yourself or for your family somewhere else. So that's what I'm seeing there, Virgo. Absolutely ending that psychic cyclic, um, ending the cycle here. And moving on to those, you know, those, those greener pastures, which is, there's a sense of freedom in that expansive space behind this person here. Yeah, there's a bit of warrior spirit here as well. And, and look at this, it kind of fits in nicely here with the Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles in your near future outcome position. Because I feel like this is you willing to put in the hard work, the blood, sweat and tears to create your own reality now, to, to shape your world. The energy is, some, uh, sorry, the energy... <laughs> The Emperor is an energy of somebody who shapes their world, doesn't allow the world to shape them. And, you know, you're willing to put in the hard work to, work to get there. So this is about, you know, now being really committed to this new path, this new home, whatever it is for you. So the, the Emperor is also about taking a calculated risk maybe to make that shift. Building your own empire now, building your own Ten of Pentacles environment. I really see that it, this could be in the home for some of you. For others, this can be in the workplace. The Eight of Pentacles can be, you know, studying, um, apprenticeship, learning new skills. You know, just going through a period of really devoting yourself and working hard so that you can achieve that goal of a home in the future. Whatever it is that you have got your eyes on, you know, the, look at the Emperor's Steer there. It's such a focused fixated stare he's like got his eyes on the prize and he's putting the hard work in to go for it that's what i see here 
because in the at the bottom of the deck energy we've got the four of cups there's a sense of wherever you've come from Virgo there's a sense of not being completely fulfilled with that and not being happy with that anymore being maybe a little bit in a, in a state of apathy being withdrawn from it because you have a bigger dream the three cups in the front there they stand for new manifestations these are both number fours as well this is about laying your foundation now, building your foundation, your home, your future by your own hand and going out and being independent now, you know, away from, I just feel like this Queen of Cups that was in your recent past was somebody who's maybe always stepped in and, and nurtured and, and looked after and, and that's been amazing but I think you realise now it's time for you to, to go out on your own or to, to stand on your own two feet and I can see you doing all the work and whatever it takes to make that happen Virgo. So I kind of feel like it's a bit of a specific reading guys, I know it won't be for everyone but I read the energy of the cards and that's what's in the cards this week. You are birthing a new age, I feel like it's a new age for you, potentially for you and your family uh, and uh, ending a massive cycle here with that universe energy. Okay Virgo, I'm going to leave it there and I do hope you enjoyed the reading. Keep in mind it is a general reading for the collective, it won't be for everyone. Feel free to leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I do read each and every one and I try to respond to them all as well. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies and I'll see you back here for another reading next week.